So I'll do a quick intro to the panel, everyone will introduce themselves, and then we'll go through a quick talk about, um, about you know, jobs in Minecraft, right? Um, and then go from there, really. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Hubert Servo, I'm the founder and CEO of Curse. We run the Minecraft forum, the Minecraft wiki, we also host the Bucket project on Bucket.org. Uh, we also have a partner program on YouTube, like for Cinema, and uh, we're also producing a, a ton of videos uh, and I have a couple of channels. Um, so the company was uh, started in 2005, uh, mostly on World of Warcraft. Um, was my guild site. Uh, we, before Minecraft, we had about 50 employees, maybe 55. Uh, we very quickly, in 2000, end of 2009, uh, we had about 12 people working exclusively on Minecraft, which was like three times more staff than Mojang had working on Minecraft, which is kind of funny, uh, because we were running the wiki, the forum, and Bucket. Um, we, um, Probably, like the company's right now is about 130 people, and uh, there is at least Minecraft probably employs like 30, like I would say 30 percent of the company. So it's it's been a, a very very big difference, and uh, what what's the most surprising for us is uh, um, we we expected the game to decline pretty fast, uh, and it has not declined. So uh, the, what, what we see is that every patch is uh, there is a huge spike of traffic, and then it goes down again, and then. New, new, new patch, new spike again. So um, I mean, the, the the demand of uh, of attention on Minecraft has not gone down, uh, which is I mean pretty fantastic for a game that uh, is already uh, more than two years old. Uh, and also, it's been I mean uh, working with Mojang has been very uh, a very unique experience compared to any other publishers. So I I know we'll, we'll get into this after, but I just wanted to mention it. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. I suppose with you as well, um, for you guys. I mean, how, should we just uh, just quickly say how, how many new people have you had working on Minecraft roughly since you since since it became big? Um, well, the thing is, like, it should include also like IT operations and customer service and um, all the staff you need to support more employees. I mean, it's, it has to be at least twenty to thirty people. Okay, well, I mean, um, I, uh, I kind of want to talk about uh, yeah. unique, like, uh, why it's really unique to talk, to work with Mojang. Yes, and, yeah, and, let's, yeah, let's uh, go. <coughs> so, so um, we, we work with, I, I guess most of you guys work with a lot of very different uh, uh, gaming companies. And what's very unique with Mojang is, um, so, like, let's say you work with someone that produces a Warhammer game. Uh, first of all, these people are not even the IP owners. They are the, like, they license, the IP to game workshops. And then, so they have no control on what they can do with the IP. And so you have companies like us that are, the community really values them and, and, and we create services that are a really like a must have for most games. But that's not how the IP owners see it. They see it as, oh, these companies are making money on our games and we have to shut them down. And so like, for example, I mean, I've been in this business for seven years, and, uh, and we've had experiences from uh, uh, from lawsuits with you know people because they saw we're making a ton of money on the games, to the closest relationship we've had, which is Mojang, uh, which is um, people working at Mojang are very uh, supportive to uh, community initiatives. Uh, I guess the only rule is that it has to benefit the community and the game. Uh, if you go against this, and they really don't like you, which makes sense. Um, but so, like Mojang has complete IP control on the game. Uh, they, uh, they, they support you uh, and promote your projects or your websites, uh, even if they don't get, a, if, even if they don't get a cut of the money. And it's it's very it's a very unique uh, um, uh, experience uh, compared to every single other uh, gaming companies. Um, yeah, I don't so know if you guys want to bounce on this. So I think uh, one really important thing is if you uh, if you intend to build a service or a website or anything for a game, uh, I, I, I guess the best advice I can uh, give you, and, and I'm sure most people will give you the same one, which is uh, you have to look at what the, the developer is and the publisher is doing. Um, 
most of the time it's actually better to not even ask them if, if you can do something, just do it. If you think it, if it's good for the community, just do it, don't ask anyone. And uh, um, um, Mojang, not so much, but most British will tell you no anyway, if you ask them anything. So don't bother, uh, just do it. I'm going to be saying again a lot of what you just said. <laughs> Uh, I'll take. I'll make it short. So for Curse, uh, passion is uh, the most important uh, for games. Uh, second most important is going to be uh, if you already work on some of our community websites. So we actually hire a lot of people from our different sites. Uh, we've hired about 60 people the last uh, year and a half. Uh, I would say more than nearly two thirds of them actually came from um, us just posting. Uh, job openings on all different sites, uh, especially the news websites. So it, um, you know, very wide uh, type of jobs. Uh, so like IT operation jobs, uh, developers jobs, you know, .NET, uh, PHP, Python, um, C++, C Sharp, everything. Um, admin, so like accounting jobs, for example. Uh, our new staff accountant is a huge Minecraft fan. Like he's, he found the job ads on Minecraft forum and he was living in San Francisco and we hired him. Um, we, uh, salespeople, uh, salespeople is probably the hardest because uh, most salespeople are, are not gamers by default, you know, they're here to make a lot of money and, and don't really care too much, but we still make an effort to make sure that they actually love games. And they have a culture that will make them look like they can represent the company when they go on sales calls. Uh, designers, uh, I'm talking, you know, Photoshop, but also um, uh, video editing jobs, uh, marketing jobs. Uh, I mean, uh, we've even hired uh, our, our head of finance and, and HR on, on one of our websites. So even executive level jobs, uh, very well paid. Um, so I think like, you know, what you were saying, Will, which is like, you know, impressed me. I think we're also looking for this because we, uh, um, we have so many people working in our different websites, even volunteers, and we always try to give them the opportunity to work for us full time if we can, uh, and if they have the right skills. That's it, I guess, guys. Um, thank you very much for coming and listening to us talk for <coughs> a very long time. Um, and